Hi guys, Tanya and David with Outside by Side. We had our first blowout. We want to talk about this. We thought we were prepared. Stay tuned. Look at that view. We just wanted to share with y'all a little bit of a horrific experience that we had on the way up here. We were on our way to Lockhart State Park for the weekend. Uh, the uh, tire pressure monitor went off and instantly we had a blowout and we had to pull over on the side of I-10. Uh, the traffic was 75 to 80 miles an hour and change out our flat. We immediately pulled over. Before we could pull over, uh, the tire had completely exploded. So here's what's left of our tire. As you can see, it is the Goodyear Endurance. So the rim is trash. We'll have to replace the rim. As you can see here, this is one of the things I noticed. I'm not really sure if this was the cause or not, but the stem looks like it's been cut. So I'm not sure if that happened before the blowout or if that happened after the blowout. But uh, anyway, that's one thing I did notice. So basically we're gonna have to try to find another rim it's a very common rim, uh, especially that it's painted black. So that shouldn't be a big deal. And uh, we'll get a, a, a new tire, of course, because uh, we do have another trip coming up this weekend and we definitely want to have a spare. So hopefully we can get all this together uh, before our next trip. The speed limit was about 75 miles an hour. We were able to get over on the right side and pull over on the shoulder. The traffic was right there on the edge. This was our view for about 30 minutes trying to change it. Everything, everything went well. We had everything that uh, we needed to do to change the tire, but there were some things that uh, we could do differently or for next time. And that's what we want to share with you guys, because you don't realize the situation until it actually happens to you. You think you're prepared. And even though we were prepared, we still have things that we will get to make the next situation better. Yeah. So the first thing that I would do is um, I would get some kind of cones or triangles, traffic triangles, or possibly some blinking uh, lights to help alert the traffic coming that we're on the shoulder of the road. We did have the hazard lights on and luckily it was right before dark. So we had enough time to get this done. And while he was down on the floor changing the tire, I was standing there trying to direct traffic. So I was watching 18 wheelers come at me for about 30, 20, 30 minutes. So it was pretty scary because I didn't want him to be hit, get run over while I'm just in the truck watching this situation happen. So it really takes two people when you're on the side of the road to make sure that you're safe. So the cones are gonna be great to have. The next problem that I had was the bottle jack that we have, which works fine as long as you have air in your tire. But if your tire explodes and you're down on the rim, you can't get the bottle jack underneath the axle to jack up the wheel. So basically what we kind of had to do is we had to use some of our blocks uh, that we use for leveling we had to use our scissor jacks that are underneath the trailer that you are only supposed to use for leveling. Uh -huh. We actually had to use them to kind of help us lift the trailer up a little bit. Luckily, our trailer is fairly light so that we could eventually get the bottle jack underneath the axle. Another thing that I think I'm gonna rethink my jack situation and get some kind of another jack, like a floor jack that will slide underneath the axle with a lower uh, clearance. Yeah, we've had a lot of people ask about the bottle jack and we thought the bottle jack was going to be great because like David said, if you don't have a tire on a rim, then it's not worth it. That was a dangerous situation to have to use those blocks to set the jack on. So, you know, we learned from that experience as well. Another thing I would like to get is a like a half inch drive uh, cordless impact drill that we could actually put a large socket on to help get those lug nuts off yeah. quicker because you want to try to get everything done as quick as possible. And yeah, it feels like you're on the side of the Autobahn <laughs> trying to right. get Right, and then another thing that we had, uh, another little issue I had is uh, where we had our lug wrench and our jack was inside the outdoor kitchen and I basically had to pull all of my griddle out and outdoor cooking gear 
to get to the uh, jack and lug wrench. So I think I'm gonna move that into another location because the main thing is, is that you wanna make sure that you can do this as fast That's as possible can, yeah. and not have to unpack your trailer on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. So uh, other than that, everything went smoothly. We were able to change the tire. Uh, we just had some issues with uh, some of our tools and, yeah. uh, and uh, some things that we didn't have. We just wanted to share that with you all so that if you ever get in this predicament, maybe you would be a little bit more prepared than we were this yes. time. So if you've had a blowout, please let us know how the situation went for you. You know, we learn from each other. You guys give us such great advice. Uh, the only difference is we're just throwing it out on video, but we really wanna know what's happened to you when you've had a blowout. How did you handle it? What did you use? What did you have? to use during that situation because anytime you are on the side of the road whether it be on a dark road that has very little shoulder or the freeway that you know 18 wheelers are coming at you at 80 miles an hour I mean they're both scary situations so just let us know we're very interested in how this has worked for you but you know like David said we wanted to share this because it was our first blowout it was a situation that was very different for us and we hope that you don't have a blowout but you know in this travel trailer life it might happen so another thing I wanted to share is when we bought our trailer uh, it did come with what a lot of people call China bombs or yes. a no-name tire uh, and they were practically brand new and we switched them all out for the Goodyear Endurance because uh, we didn't want to, we wanted to make sure that we would have, you know, some really good tires. And even with the, the, the Goodyear tires, I'm not really sure what happened, but this, it gave us no warning at all. And it basically just uh, disintegrated on the rim mm -hmm. uh, as we were driving. So uh, we did have good tires and they were fairly new. And I'm also very good about checking the tire pressure uh, before we leave, uh, especially the house after it's been sitting in storage for a while. So all of that was good. It was just, uh, I'm not really sure what caused it to blow out if we ran over something or. Well, and what was interesting is that the terrain changed because there was like instruction. Yeah, we did get into a fairly rough uh, area to where I think they had done some kind of resurfacing mm -hmm. on the road and it did start to get rough real real quick mm -hmm. and uh, we noticed quite a bit of vibration but we just thought it was the road, the road yeah. but I think it ended up just being that the tire was just uh, and the the tire pressure monitor it, it almost started beeping and within a few seconds uh, we were down on the rim mm -hmm. so it didn't give us uh, much warning that's why I think it was more of a blowout you know, and if you don't have a tire pressure monitoring system, we did a video, this video on our tire pressure monitoring system. However, we're not really that happy with it after using it. I think we're gonna look for something else, especially something that has better visuals because every time we have to check it, um, David's trying to, there's no lighting during the day. It's great at night, but he's trying to check it while he's driving or I'm trying to check it. So it's not a very good system that we want for long term. Uh, so if we do find another tire pressure monitoring system, we'll let you know. Once again, we thank you for watching our video and please share with anybody who's in the travel trailer life because it is great when we can collaborate together on experiences. Please don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel. That really helps get our information out Again, we thank you, we appreciate you, and hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching. Bye.